This is the North Fork Trail. I rode this last fall, but then I had to abandon the ride because of a lightning strike, started a forest fire nearby. Click on the link above for the outcome of that one. That was a very interesting ride. I ended up using a satellite communicator to contact emergency services, something I'd never done before. It seemed to work pretty well. This is a 20 mile ride done kind of out as an out and back 2600 feet of climbing. It's a very quiet trail. It's a Sunday morning compared to a lot of other front range trails. This one will be pretty quiet. Trails mostly this uh, decomposed granite. It gets very sandy in the summer. It's also a uh, mostly smooth trail. This is not for your enduro rowdy crowd. You want some great bench cut single track. Good views of the South Platte River. And you want something quiet on a weekend? This could be the place to come. The one section of uh, non-granite trail. This could get muddy in the spring. But it's short lived. So for today's ride, I'm back with the Hero 4 and the gimbal, but I've also got my Hero 7 attached to my pack. The Hero 7 is on its uh, internal stabilization, but I've also got it plugged into an external power pack so I can run the entire day. This uh, middle section, or this kind of lower middle section of the climb, punctuated with uh, some nice little downhills with some uh, little steeper sections of climbing. The climb is not that bad. <laughs> but there, yeah, I just dropped down into this gully. So I'm going to be climbing back out again now. This trail is all very loose now. So it's only going to get worse through the summer. If you can get this after rain, that would be the time to get, get this trail. It'll firm up nicely. In the shade of the trees, it was getting a bit on the chilly side. <laughs> Started the day out at 36 degrees, but uh, in the sun, it feels very nice. We just cycled around this way back up and look at those granite cliffs. Very nice. Now we're on the bit of the trail where I saw the, uh, the smoke coming up from that lightning strike. It ignited a small forest fire, but I got feedback from the fire crews that they did hit it with a tanker. So it wasn't that small. And uh, it was right about here where I noticed it and up over on the hillside on that side. Luckily it was put out quick. So not much damage and hillsides recovering nicely. Now, I ended up going up here a bit more thinking, oh, perhaps I'll continue the ride. But then more thunder, landing came through. I could smell smoke drifting through, at which point I figured it was time to turn around and head, head home. No point risking my own life, even though I felt perfectly safe at the time. So, a trail is, is always here for another day, and today's the day. Well, I got further than I did last time. This was where I stopped and turned around and headed back. So, this is actually about the halfway point. Still got another four or so miles of climbing. I've actually been climbing 5.3, so a little more than halfway. The climb up around here is actually not bad. It's not relentless. You do get these nice little downward grades from time to time. Although that does mean <laughs> the downhill is not, oh, it's not entirely downhill. Almost went off the edge there. Clip that tree stump. <laughs> nice little descent dropping down through the burn section. 
This is pretty sweet. That's where we're climbing from down there. Summer riding season is just getting going. The uh, high alpine trails are still probably buried in snow. We've had a really quite a good snow year this year. That's why I'm so far behind with my riding. I've been skiing this year for the first time ever. And uh, skiing doesn't give you this, keep the fitness up like biking through the winter does. We may actually be nearing the top of the ride. There's a few more people out and about now. Never done this trail before, so I don't know quite what's ahead. Take it a bit careful around the blind corners. This is a pretty fast trail. <laughs> right, let's see where we're at. When we return, we've got a, a bit of a climb to the top section there, and then it's downhill. With a few smaller climbs in between. That's taking the hummingbird cradle. <laughs> Sorry, there's nowhere to get up. Oh no, don't worry about it. <laughs> have a good day. I think we're gonna have to expect people on this. a little cautiously very loose but very narrow which is awesome well that is awesome the loose is not so great oh and we got some switchbacks as you'll know from my other videos switchbacks are my nemesis So we're going to have to climb back up now, having just dropped down that little loop. Now climb back up. Can you see my gauge? This is what we're climbing up. So, so we're at the turn point. I'm pretty much at the top of the Hummingbird Trail uh, if, as I complete this lollipop loop. And then it's going to descend a few hundred feet again. Then I'm going to climb back up. And then at that point, that's the start of the predominantly downhill back to the North Fork Trailhead. And then 
Look at that view. Pretty awesome. That was a pretty tough climb back up. Hummingbird. Bird. There's much hiker bike on that one. <laughs> Uh, big thing with this trail, dealing with the loose conditions. Ah, there's actually a little bit of technical. I wasn't expecting that. Where am I going? This way. So definitely on the hummingbird. Loop, do it clockwise. Because then you get that little bit of technical descent. Hi. And that was a hummingbird, now we're back onto the North Fork Trail. Now this is mostly uh, dusty, loose single track. Traction can be a bit testing at times. So I said this is a fairly quiet trail system but you can still expect people on a Sunday Sunday morning. I can't compare to some other places. This is pretty deserted. Now we're going to start to climb up again for a couple of hundred feet. Ah, I was actually expecting more of a climb because I still got a bit of a downhill. <laughs> This won't be very long though. It's coming back up, but this is pretty nice. I am not fast, but I get there. <laughs> Still climbing, about halfway on this climb. Now if you don't want to do the Reynolds Park area, then you can just do North Fork and out and back to avoid this climb back up. All right, we're at the top. Top of North Fork. <laughs> Very loose. They're just, they're just a little sketchy. Hi. Yes, just me. Have a good day. I don't know what speed I'm doing because <laughs> it's narrow enough you can't like look at your speed at all feels fast Go into a corner, it's kind of like going into a sand trap in places. Considering we had snow and rain last week, this shows just how quickly it dries up around here. And then we drop off this for a little bit onto some double track. Which is uh, very fast. 
at the end of the double track we will have a, a little climb again so now a little bit of a climb wasn't too bad great views but you gotta keep an eye on the trail <laughs> Now he's starting to send me a proper. Oh, these corners. You have to be so careful on the corners. So right now, this is that like ball bearing, like decomposed granite of what is really a very fast section if you have the uh, the braves for it <laughs> the bravery Whoa. so loose probably not helped by the fact I'm riding on last season's tyres <laughs> I should really probably get some new tyres for this year still got a lot of tread left but it's Rounded, it's not that sharp bite into the trail type tread. Guess I could try cutting them. Give them a sharp edge again, get a bit more life out of the tread. Oh, corner. Doesn't look like much of a corner. But you wouldn't want to go off there. Wow, how sweet was that? That was stupidly quick and uninterrupted wow I sure you could go down there quicker but <laughs> I didn't have the cojones on this loose traction to push it in further I think that part of North Fork dropping down there is one of the most exciting parts of the trail it's fast it's loose there's really not much potential for error and uh, <laughs> and you got some good sight lines so you can kind of let, let it go just watch out for those loose corners <sighs> yep me too Alright, this section is a little twistier, a bit harder to let it rip. Also, very loose with a little off camber. But this is nice. <laughs> Some green in the spring. So nice when Colorado is green and not brown.
uphill climb again. This section undulates a bit. Got a funny bit of trail of this. I think he's going to be downhill all the way, but he's not. But that should be good now. For a bit. Oh, a bit of a headwind. Funny, this is a downhill that requires a fair bit of pedaling still. So it's like, when is the downhill not a downhill? When it's the North Fork Trail. <laughs> it's downhill, but there's lots of little uphill sections in it. Also, this lower section, you can't take flat out, or it's hard to take flat out. Well, for a start, I'm coming across people coming up, but secondly, just the looseness of it. Getting faster again, <laughs> which uh, builds up up the treacherousness of it again. Whoa! Okay, this is more like it. I don't want to fall off that, that edge. <laughs> oh, this is very loose. Ooh. Now we kind of cruise back to the bottom. So when is a downhill not a downhill? When it's the North Fork Trail. That was 20 miles and about 2,900 feet of climbing and descending. The descent, the top part is fast and furious, but then you get to that middle section and you do a lot of uphill uh, in the downhill and then it all mellows out as well. So it feels like you're not doing so much downhill. The downhills are fast and punchy, but then you have the uphill climbs in between. That makes it a good climb up though. So as an out and back loop, you get a bit of everything. You get both the uphill and some downs on the way up and you get the downs a ferociously fast section at near the top uh, with some more mellow descents and climbs on the way back. It's a good trail system, very loose and sketchy in the summer and uh, it's not that busy for a Sunday. I hope you enjoyed the ride, see you on another trail and don't forget to subscribe and like the videos and you'll get a notification next time I post. See you then, bye now.